Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Um, I decided to take you out with me. So even though it's gonna be a little wonky and shaky, because <laughs> um, I'm holding the phone right now, but I figured you could enjoy some of these blue skies. It's a pretty day out today. So anyway, um, I ended up coming to you live. I don't know if you saw my last couple of posts, but my little guy Jagger, he's two and he's feeling a little under the weather. And I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to come to you live, um, depending on how things were going with him. But he is sleeping right now, so I figured I would definitely take advantage of the opportunity and come to you at my normal time, which is now, it's Wednesdays at 1.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about a simple system, I guess you could say, for gaining control of your eating. Because the one thing that I keep seeing again and again, hey Tiffany, thanks for joining. The one thing I keep seeing again and again is that, um, you know, we all do it. We all lose control over our food choices from time to time. And it could be because of convenience or it could be because of temptation, those cravings. It could be because we just weren't prepared um, or emotional eating. Um, you know, there's all different reasons for that. But I've got today just a very strategic uh, series of a couple of questions for you to ask yourself to gain back some of that control over your food choices. Um, so number one, so this is when you're like reaching for that whatever, that glass of wine, that piece of chocolate, that dessert, those french fries, whatever it is. Tiffany says, hey Tara, I love that you're outside. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's so pretty out here, right? Tiffany, where are you right now? I know you're in the middle of moving. I don't know where you are right now, but I hope it's just as nice by you. It's like in the mid 70s, I'd say, here on Long Island, and um, just really, really nice and bright today. Um, well, at least this afternoon. It was kind of glooming this morning. So. So this, these questions that you're going to ask yourself, it's going to be three to four questions. I'll explain as we get a little further. And it's going to be right when you're about to grab that thing that you you know, usually regret later on. Like, oh man, I was doing so well today, or I was doing so well this week, and then I overate this, or I binged on that, or you know, I just mindlessly finished a whole bag of something and didn't even realize until I was the, at the end of it. Um, Florida is still till Monday. Oh, okay, good luck with the move. Um, so question number one is what do I want right now? Okay, so that's usually pretty obvious, but this is where you're going to start. So what do I want right now? Um, and on the surface level, it'll be whatever that thing is that you're about to grab. So hey, jo Joni, thanks for joining. You're welcome, Tiffany. Um, so you know, what do I want right now could be, real, I really want this wine right now. I, oh, there's a bug in my phone. There's a cute little green beetle on my phone right now. That's what happens when you shoot outside. Um, I'm gonna let him hang out because he doesn't seem to want to leave. All right. Um, <laughs> so what do you want right now? Well, it could be that glass of wine. It could be that dessert. It can be those chips, those French fries, or whatever. Um, now, as you get more accustomed to doing this, you can take it a step further and say, "What do I want right now?" And it might be, "I want to feel." comfortable I want to stop feeling stressed you know you might actually be able to turn um, the thing that you're trying you're craving into whatever it is that is tied to your emotions and your feelings because very often it's like we want to feel full on the inside because we're feeling empty maybe you know this, this can be some deep stuff um, or we just want that taste of something salty or crunchy or sweet and so once you kind of stop yourself in your track you can actually uh, you know change paths and grab something else that might fill that same void that you're feeling. But for now, let's just keep it real simple and just say, what do I want right now? And just, you know, the answer will be whatever that thing is that you're craving. So we'll say, I really want this piece of chocolate right now. Okay. So the second, oh, Claire is here too. Hi, Claire. Thanks for watching. Um, the second question now that you're going to ask yourself is what do I want in the long term? So this is where you reconnect with your goals. Well, I really wanted to lose those 20 pounds or the last five pounds, or um, I really wanted to start toning up, or I really want to have less pain in my joints, or I was really hoping to see if my migraines would go away if I can eat a little bit more healthy. Um, you know, maybe you have autoimmunity, maybe you have inflammation. So maybe you're on a path to try to see if you can get yourself a bit healthier. So think about what you want long term. 
Okay, so so far you've answered just two simple questions. What do you want right now? And what do you want in the long term? You can answer these questions in like, you know, nanoseconds. Um, hey, Angela, thanks for joining. Um, Angela, my kiddos were asking for you before. They wanted to see you. <laughs> um, so question number three, and this could be the last question or not, depending on how you answer it. Question number three becomes, are you willing to give up your um, goals your, your vision, whatever it is for the long term for this thing that you want right now. So, uh, and I'll tell them, I'll let them know. Jagger's sleeping right now, he's at school, but I'll let them know later. So, question number three becomes, are you willing to give up your long-term goals, you know, the thing that you have your eyes set, set for, um, for what it is you want right now? And a lot of times, this is enough to say no and kind of just refocus yourself and oh, loud truck um, refocus yourself and get you back on track it kind of like snaps you back in so if you're about to do one of those mindless binges or just you know eating something because it tastes good um, you know think about that think about what do you want long term if that's too hard to think about what you want for you know like months from now or something think about shorter term a little bit shorter like Maybe an hour from now, you wanna to go to bed and not be feeling like so full and stuffed and sick. So maybe just think about, well, actually, yeah, if I, if I skip this thing right now, when I go to bed later, I'm gonna feel so much better. So that could be enough to change your decision. I also wanna mention here that you may very well answer, and you probably will at least sometimes, you may say, yes, I want to forget my goals right now, and I do want the thing that I want right now, over the thing that I want long term, maybe just for right now. That might be a decision that you make occasionally, but at least then you're making it in a more mindful way. You're making the decision and it's not being made for you. So you're still taking control over what it is that you're eating. Um, so that's question number three. And so depending on how you answer that, you'll move on to question number four, maybe. So if you say, so the question is, do you want to give up your long term goals for this thing right now? And if the answer is no, you're not going to eat this or drink that or whatever, you're done there at the three questions. If the answer is yes, you still want it anyway, the fourth question becomes, so it's like 3B kind of, but the fourth question becomes, can you wait a little bit for that? Because sometimes just making yourself wait five minutes, 10 minutes, do 30 minutes if you can, um, is enough for you to get into something else, get distracted, or fill that void that you're feeling in a different way. And so, you know, set an alarm on your phone or set a, an old fashioned kitchen timer. We've got this like little piggy kitchen timer that I love. <laughs> and just set that thing for 30 minutes. And when it goes off, if it's still, if you're still craving that thing or if you still want it, then go ahead and give into it. But at least you know that, again, you're making this decision that you want to and you have that ultimate upper hand in what you're putting into your body and sometimes you are gonna go for those things because that's what I call soul food I don't just call it soul food food a lot of people do but that is sometimes just you know you're feeding your mind in that moment you're feeding your emotions and sometimes it's okay to do it as long as you're not doing it all the time every day and making yourself unhealthy in the, in the process um, so let me go through those questions again real quick so question number one you're gonna say what do I want in this moment as you're reaching for whatever just stop and say what do I want right now and the answer could be I want these chips I want something sweet um, I'm really looking to just sit on the couch and not get my workout in it could be anything that you're looking to do for that moment question number two is what do I want for the long term you know I really want to get fit and toned I want to be healthy I want to see if I eat a certain way for a certain period of time how my body feels and reacts um, okay so now you're connecting you're tuning into what it is that you want and then question number three becomes am I willing to give up those long-term goals right now for what it is that I want right now that instant gratification are you willing to do it if it's no, you're gonna stop right there and you've just saved yourself from you know overeating, binge eating, not doing your workout, whatever. And if the answer is yes, the fourth question is can I delay it a little bit? Can I just push it off for five minutes, 10 minutes, maybe 30 minutes and see what happens? Hey Lisa, thanks for joining. All right, so those are the four, three to four uh, little questions that you can ask yourself 
and um, gain control over your eating. So you will come out of this no matter what, no matter if this changes anything or not, you will still come out of this feeling like you have so much more control. And when you feel like you have control and you get that confidence, you'll be willing to set more goals for yourself and you're gonna end up being more successful with whatever it is that you set for yourself. Just having that control, taking that control back into what you're putting into your body. Because I promise you, we all have done it before. We all do it from time to time where we mindlessly eat or we you know are actively doing something that completely goes against what we say we want um, and it's just kind of closing that gap a little bit and realizing I say that I really want to lose 20 pounds but yet am I acting as if am I acting as if I am somebody that wants to lose 20 pounds you know am I eating in accordance to somebody who would want to lose 20 pounds am I moving my body in accordance to somebody who wants to lose 20 pounds am I getting enough sleep and prioritizing my stress management, those types of things. Um, of course, all of this would become so, so, so much easier if you can reduce those cravings. So most of us crave either sweet things or like that salty, crunchy, carby, you know, like the french fries and chips and that type of thing. Most of us crave on one end of the spectrum or another, but some people have those, the, both cravings. And there's a very, uh, I'm not gonna say it's easy, but it's a very simple way to break those sugar cravings and it's all about balancing out your blood sugar and your hormones. And then you don't have to deal with these spikes and crashes and the glucose and the insulin and it's this whole roller coaster that keeps you craving and craving and craving. And there's a way to break that cycle. Um, if you are interested in learning more about how I can help you break that cycle, shoot me a little note um, or click on the link in the bottom of this video because it's all about my 10 day Healthy New You Reset. Um, I'm still taking enrollments now, but I will be closing that up um, in the next week because we will be, everybody gets their welcome package a week from tomorrow and we start the following Monday, which is June 4th. So if you're interested, please um, check out the link or shoot me a little message and let's talk about all the details about the reset. Let's break those sugar cravings, the carb cravings, and um, get you to have 10 days where you're just reducing your inflammation, you're losing that excess um, body fat and that excess water weight, and you just feel like you're on top of the world because that's a pretty awesome way to go into summer, isn't it? Stephanie's here, hey Stephanie, hey Christina, thanks for joining. So. Um, I want to know, are you going to use those four questions? It's something that I do and I'm going to do it even more so now. So let me know, you're going to ask those four questions when you go to reach for that, <laughs> the wine or whatever you're going to go reach for. Maybe it's even tonight. Um, you know what? One more thing I want to say. A lot of times we act surprised when we lose control over this and yet it's something that's so predictable. If we find that we have these the sweet tooth after dinner let's just say and night after night after night it's like oh my gosh I can't believe I didn't have control over myself with that sweet tooth the thing is you can predict that it's gonna happen again right if it happens most nights you can predict it's gonna happen and you can plan for it accordingly so maybe you start to prepare yourself something that's a little bit sweet that's you know a little bit healthier something like fruit or like a, a chia seed pudding um, and you have that available so that next time that 8 p.m. Uh, sweet tooth kicks in you've got something to grab so you're basically just setting yourself up for success so a lot of these things that we think are just surprises to us are actually patterns that we can probably prevent we usually have problems with our impulse control do I have a bug in my nose <laughs> sorry guys um, I think it was just the hair we usually have have patterns with our impulse control um, at you know always at certain times like maybe we lose control when we go to the grocery store and we're hungry or we lose control after dinner when we want something sweet or we lose control when we wait six hours between meals and all of a sudden we just want to eat anything and everything that we can get our hands on so if you can plan for that ahead of time and just be real with yourself like okay every night I want something sweet so instead of trying to fight it I'm just gonna give in with this piece of fruit or I'm gonna give in with this smoothie that I put into silicone molds and I made into an ice pop you know whatever whatever it is that's gonna satisfy that sweet tooth at least you can plan ahead for it so I hope that's helpful um, check out the link in the comments I'm gonna post it right after I am done with this video and I hope to see you in the reset with us we've got so many people signed up already and I'm so excited to see what they are going to get out of it because we've had such amazing results in the past so hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.